Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in the car here. I love walking in the car. My newer car has like this perfect little ledge I can set my camera on. Of course, you can kind of see my steering wheel, but it's okay, it works. Anyways, um, I have so many errands to run today, so I figured I would take you along with me. Mostly just like shopping errands I have to do. So I'm in the parking lot. I'm actually going to Sherwin-Williams right now to pick up some paint. Um, I just feel like that's the brand that a lot of people use these days, and I can find a lot of pictures on Google of. Um, um, usually I just pick up paint from like, you know, the home store, Menards, Home Depot, whatever, um, which I did grab some white paint from there um, last week because we're redoing our living room, but I've decided I'm also going to go pick up some gray paint here at Sherwin-Williams and I don't know, we'll see. I keep going back and forth on what I'm going to do with my living room paint, so that's what's going on. But yeah, I thought I would vlog for you guys because it's been so long since I've done a vlog and I can just kind of take you with me. Usually in my vlogs we like to drive around, go shopping run errands stuff like that it's nothing crazy and it's usually just me and my husband you guys know he doesn't really like to be in my videos all that much which is totally fine so we're just hanging out it's a thursday um i have my tj maxx video going up today so i gotta film that too because i have like no footage for that i went on tuesday and they had literally nothing it's so random you never know when they're gonna have stuff and i think they just did a markdown so I really hope they have some stuff today, otherwise I don't know what I'm going to do. It's very possible I'll have to push the video back, uh, which I've never done before, but we will see. So I'm going to go into this Sherwin Williams and see if they have a nice light gray paint color I'm looking for. And then um, there's also my favorite Bath & Body Works over here too. And they're doing a $5.95 uh, lotion sale today, so I might stop in there and just pick up a couple things. Maybe I'll film a haul for you in this vlog, because there's just going to be a lot of random things going on. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm out and about, I never wear makeup anymore because of the mess, and I just, I don't like to wear foundation. I feel like I'm always breaking out. My mask, no matter what, I always break out. So I'm never, I never have clear skin anymore these days, but it's just easier for me to not wear any foundation. So I feel like if anyone ever sees me in public, I probably look like I just rolled out of bed and it's probably true. <laughs> I just kind of, I did straighten my hair this morning though and I put on a cute shirt. So that's better than my sweatshirt and leggings that I usually go out in. But yeah, let's go ahead and get some paint. paint they are super nice here it's so helpful <laughs> i bought um like a white color at menards they're not really helpful there but they just you know it's cheaper but the sherwin williams is a little pricey but i don't know they have really good service here so we're going with this color called zircon zircon at sherwin williams um supposed to be a good lasting paint supposed to be easy to clean so we'll see kind of high end I feel like. I'm hoping the white color that I bought at Menards will still match this okay because I think I decided yeah, I am going to do the split paint in the living room because I have this almost shiplap looking paneling. It used to be popular in like the 70s. It used to be like an ugly brown wood paneling. Um, I'm just going to paint over and have the split so it kind of looks like a shiplap which is pretty trendy um, and then I think the whole rest of the house is going to be this color with white trim so yeah we'll see if the white color I picked hopefully works with this it's slightly cool toned um, otherwise I'll probably come back and buy one from here so we will see I'm gonna try and work on painting this weekend I don't know if it'll be in this vlog maybe a little bit because I'm also filming this whole process of redoing our living room so I have like a whole separate video on that so anyways I got my paint I think I'm definitely going to come to Sherwin-Williams from now on. Not that I'm trying to paint my house that often, but I kind of just want to paint it all one color and be done with it. But now I have Target next door, so I think I'm going to stop there because I actually have some returns I need to do. I bought like a ton of stuff and uh, I did that Target video and a lot of it I didn't even show because it didn't work out. So I'm going to return some stuff and maybe see if they have anything new. Maybe I'll film in there if they have anything new, but I'm not planning on taking a lot of time there. So. Let's go to Target. Here, there's like no one in the parking lot, so it seems like it's not very busy today, which is good. I love to do my shopping on like weekday mornings because I just hate when it's super crowded. So let's go do these returns and see if we find anything else. You guys, I got more cute graphic tees since my last video. They have another Def Leppard one, which is so cute and tropical. I kind of want that one too. This Fender one is really cute. And then I think I'm gonna get this little sunflower one too. But oh my gosh, they have so many cute ones. 
Also kind of obsessed with this little, it's kind of a washed um, set that this green, it comes with the sweatshirt and the shorts. That is adorable. I'm obsessed with matching sets, so I think this one's new. I'm gonna grab this one as well. Already they have more new shoes. I'm telling you, they always get new ones in with the lavender kind of straps. So I ended up doing my return, and of course I bought more stuff at Target because they always have cute new things. Um, so I bought a couple clothing items and a couple of things I needed for around the house while I was there. Um, and I filmed just a couple things they have because they had more graphic tees, which are so cute. I feel like in the summer I'm going to be wearing a lot of graphic t-shirts. But I did buy a couple things, which I want to try it on when I get home, make sure I like them, and then I'll show you if I like it. So um, I'll show you guys that when I get home, but now I'm going to run into Bath & Body Works and see if there's any lotions that I cannot live without. And if they have anything new, I'll film it too, but I don't know if they'll have much because they have that new floor set next week. Okay, so my store has the new Magnolia Charm. I was hoping they would have it because I wanted to get the lotion. I have the spray, really love it, and since they have the sale, I'm definitely going to be picking this one up. I think it's only in select stores right now. Alright, I just got back from my Bath & Body Works little store. I will show you what I bought. Do a little car haul here. I know that a semi-annual sale starts next month, so I'm trying not to go like too crazy, but they had just like a couple new things and not a whole lot, so I really didn't film in there. Besides, they had the whole Magnolia Charm table, which I was so excited because otherwise I was probably going to order online, but I'll show you guys what I picked up. So... First thing I got, this is the new packaging of Pretty as a Peach. I haven't had this in a while, but I really love this one, especially for spring and summer. It's a really nice peach, um, kind of almost champagne-y vibes. It reminds me of like peach mixed with champagne toast. It's really nice and one of my favorites. So I did go ahead and grab the new packaging, if it will show up nicely here. The sun is kind of bright, so that was part of the sale. Also, I did grab the new uh, packaging of Champagne Toast. I think this collection is so pretty with this like textured bottle because I don't have the Champagne Toast lotion, so I figured I would pick that one up. It's such a classic from them. I'm kind of collecting things as of now. I like to have more of their body care on hand so I can make comparisons. And so yeah, I guess I'm collecting lotions and body sprays now. Um, you guys know I just did the clutter, but I change my mind so often on what I want to do. I'm very indecisive. You guys can't tell, but I did want to grab that. I need to pick up a spray, so I hope that they'll have one for SAS. So I did go ahead and grab these guys, and I know these are going to be a part of semi annual sale, but I find that this collection is really dwindling down. So I'm a little bit worried I won't be able to find them next month because they're really selling out of a lot of their stock, I feel like. Since it was the $5.95, that's better than half off. I feel like this collection is only going to be 50% off at the sale. I just have a feeling. It's hard to tell what's going to be $75, but yeah, I have a feeling these will only be $50. So I figured the best deal to buy it would be right now. And and these are my go-to scents right now. Like this is what I wear the most. I just love them so I need to have them on hand because I'm running low on my body creams. I picked up the Raspberry Jam Donut Body Cream. I usually just buy lotions but since I love these so much um, I buy the body creams because I do prefer that texture. Um, just is so much more moisturizing but they do go bad faster. I just know I'll use these up. And then the Coconut Cream Pie. I've just been loving these so much right now. I still think coconut cream pie is a dupe for like confetti cake pop and Christmas cookies ish. They are very similar so grab that and then the raspberry jam donut. This one's just really good. Um, originally I felt like it was very similar to the Santa's blueberry shortbread but now I realize there is some slight differences. This one definitely has more of a bright raspberry note to it but these are both really sweet delicious scents. You guys know I love my bakery scents. And then I just got one more item. This is the Magnolia Charm Lotion. I told you guys I was on the hunt for this one. So I was so happy that my store had it in stock. I just picked it up in the lotion. I don't think I would like this one in the body cream, but this is just a very fresh scent with a little bit of floral. It's really beautiful, so I picked that up too. So that is what I got. I tried to be smart with my purchases. Stuff that I don't think will be on sale. We might see this pretty as a peach at semi annual sale in the old packaging. I have a feeling, but I don't know. It's hard to judge. I just wanted to make sure I got my favorites um, before the sale if they run out. And if I see them at the sale, I'll just pick up more. So that was my main errands I had to do. And now we have to do all my TJ Maxx filming. So I literally go to like five different stores. It's a whole ordeal. It takes a lot of time, but I do it like three times a week. I need to turn my car on. It is hot out now. I was going to wear a sweatshirt today, but I'm glad I didn't. 
So yeah, we'll go to TJ Maxx and fingers crossed they have some good stuff because it's been very slow lately. Alright, so I have a couple more stores to go to. Um, yeah, TJ Maxx still is shitty. <laughs> We're going to see if Marshalls has anything, but really they just don't have a whole lot besides clearance right now. So yeah, my video is going to be interesting, that's for sure. I decided I needed a coffee. So look how pretty this one is. This is like the TikTok drink basically. Venti ice white mocha with... Um, vanilla sweet cream cold foam and caramel drizzle. This is like the sweetest uh, Starbucks drink for if you don't like coffee, but you like sweet drinks, you would probably like this. So yeah, I thought I would treat myself to my second coffee of the day. Since I won't probably have lunch today, I'll probably just have supper when I get home because I think I'm going to pick up Chipotle. I might make one more stop today to Victoria's Secret. I have a lotion I went to exchange. See if they'll let me exchange it for a mist because I don't really like their lotions and I want to see if they have their newer summer scents there as well. So that is the plan. exchange of Victoria's Secret. They did let me exchange the lotion for a mist since I did the 3 for 30 deal anyway. I didn't really know what to pick. I love Victoria's Secret scents, but I don't like that a lot of the time they always take their core scents and just rename it something else and add like one note different. That way, I don't know, it just feels like it's not something I would like to have like a lot of in my collection because you kind of already have everything, but like the La Creme collection I think is really good. I was seeing if they had any more of that, but they must be out. So they do have this new summer line there, so I picked this one up because I've heard this is a dupe for Bath & Body Works Boardwalk Taffy. And I smelled it in store and it seemed pretty similar, maybe slightly different, but it's more of a lighter scent. Like Victoria's Secret stuff is a lot lighter it seems in Bath and Body Works. But I thought I would go ahead and pick this one up. The notes are fresh agave, pink berries go with the flow. It does dry down to this sponge sugary cotton candy scent but almost has a different little aspect in it. Like maybe a little bit of freshness added in. But overall, I love me some Boardwalk Taffy so I figured I would go ahead and pick this one up as well just to have, I really didn't know what to pick for my lotion because I wasn't really feeling any of them. So yeah, I think I am headed home now. I just have one more Marshalls to stop at and then we're done for the day and I have to go home and edit my video. Hello guys, it is a, another day. It's actually Mother's Day or Sunday. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days but we've basically just been working on the house. As I said, we were painting. We also put new floors in our living room. So I didn't really vlog that because that's gonna be like a separate video of my updates and like living room tour when it's all finished. But I figured I would turn on the camera for today again because my video is kind of short just from I think it was Thursday's footage, but yeah, I, I haven't really gotten ready for the day. <laughs> I've been so tired from this weekend, but uh, right now I'm just kind of thinking about cleaning this room up too, my makeup room, because it's a mess. Uh, we kind of moved everything out of the living room, so now we're like putting stuff back, but yeah, I am going to get ready eventually today because I want to look nice. We're, doing, we're going out for dinner with my family tonight, so... I will eventually put makeup on and I also want to film like another skin tint review so I will be doing that today but I do want to get this room picked up. Uh, I slept in so late today so it's like a late start to the day but I was watching on Netflix last night the Selena series. It is so good. I watched the whole part one last night <laughs> and now they have the part two but I definitely recommend it. I actually wasn't super familiar with Selena the singer but I love like getting to know more through this series. Let me go ahead and show you guys the progress we made in the living room right now. Alright so this is how it looks right now. It's not really set up. I still have stuff everywhere. It's so echoey now that we got rid of our carpet. Turbo's here too playing with his little laser toy. <laughs> he keeps coming in and meowing to have me turn it back on. We did get these leather sofas like a couple weeks ago. Um, I was a little worried about it with the cat tearing it up but so far he hasn't really torn anything. Um, so that's good because he still has his front claws. So I was a little bit worried about that but I try to keep his claws trimmed. <laughs> now I open the windows and he wants to look out. But yeah, we did put in this flooring here. I will link this one or put it in the description box if you guys are curious about it because I did get some questions on what we used. But yeah, we took out our nasty carpet. 
Um, we still have some tools laying around because we need to put those away and we're still putting the trim on the bottom That's why it's not painted on the very bottom But I was gonna paint everything just one color But since we have this paneling here, it kind of looks like shiplap So I know that's pretty popular So I went ahead and did the bottom a cool white and then the top is a cool light gray Which we got the top paint from Sherman Williams. I think in most places have Sherman Williams. It's a really nice light gray I really like it and then the bottom is from Menards. I think I'm gonna paint the rest of the house. Maybe this light gray. I haven't quite decided But I think that's what I'm gonna do for everything except my makeup room My makeup room is right now kind of like an off-white, but like this is so much brighter I don't know if that would look weird in there, but it's something I could possibly do um, If I wanted to switch it to that color We also painted our trim that same white which looks really good the inside is not painted But I think it looks kind of weird so I might end up painting that as well um, Also need to paint this door still because so we've had this ugly olive green color for a while and this door needs to be painted too because it looks really weird with the wood. But I love how it all came out. We worked on this off and on Friday and Saturday. So I'd say it takes a good like 12 hours to do all that. But yeah, I really like how it looks. I can't wait to put the rest of the furniture in. When we get, we're getting everything new. Like this TV stand is going to go. I have a lot of clutter on it right now. And this table is going to go. But we're going to get all new stuff. Um, so I should have that video up probably next month um because i'm waiting for some stuff to come in stock all right so i finally got ready i'm sitting here eating a snack because we're gonna be leaving in a couple hours for dinner but i didn't really eat lunch i just had coffee but these little snacks i got these at aldi and they're really nice it's the snack selections and it has cheddar cheese some cashews and raisins and i like to take these like on the go with me but they're just a nice little snack that they have there i just did my makeup and i went for a very nice like natural look i'm not even wearing any eyeshadow today but i just kind of like it how it's just very fresh i'm in the works of filming a high-end skin tint video so we're wearing the Chantecai skin tint on the face today and i did quite a bit of blush this is the charlotte tilbury ecstasy blush so that's basically what i have on today i just threw my hair up half up half down i didn't even put any heat on it today which is nice and then see if i can show you guys my dress i don't know if it'll show but this is from target i showed this in my last haul sorry my light is in the background right now but yeah it's just this like oversized dress and i'm gonna throw a jean jacket on with it but um i really want to upload this vlog today so i figured i would just do a couple last minute things here i think i have quite a bit of footage and i want to show you guys what i did get at target while i was there earlier so i just got a few tops that were really cute i really liked this little black cropped cami that i got in my last target haul so i did buy it in gray i like these just for around the house these were uh three dollars only so it's so cheap i did get the gray i also have the black and then i also got two graphic t-shirts target has had the cutest graphic tees lately and you guys know i i, I had to buy this Def Leppard shirt. I just bought one in my last Target video, but this one's cute. It's like tropical, so I had to have this one as well. I just, I know I'm going to be wearing t-shirts and shorts pretty much all summer long. And then I bought this one, which I just thought was so cute. I love the little sunflower, and it also has this peace sign with the sunflowers on the back, so I thought that was really cute. Um, I did, I think that these looked a little bit boxy, so I went with mediums. Hopefully that'll be okay. Um, otherwise, I can always exchange for a large, but this is just going to be Pretty much all I wear this summer is graphic tees and shorts and also dresses because they're super easy. So that is pretty much, I think, everything I had to show you guys for this vlog. Um, just kind of a random follow me around, show some stuff I bought this weekend type of vlog. So I thought I would go ahead and put this up. I just thought it would be kind of fun to take you along with me for my little weekend plans and all that stuff I was doing. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you guys want to see more of these and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.